for the last time they're not, on here. Not too excited, I hope. Maybe, maybe, maybe Huggy Bear will be here, and I'll be here. <laughs> Oh, I'll try to stop, guys. And, and nice. Thunder, and, and Thunder Lips back here, the camera guy. <sighs> so hard, Honey Lips, Honey, honey Lips, Honey Lips, so right <laughs> ah, it's Thunder Lips. I thought it was Thunder Lips. I will. I don't know. I like Thunder Lips better. It's more of a tan. It's, it's yeah. Thunder, thunder yeah. Lips. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> and we have got everybody packed into the man cave, man. We got we got chicks in here all over the place. We are uh, rolling deep tonight. Hot roommate Danny has finally made her appearance. And she smells like farts. Not me tonight. (laughs) (laughs) It happens. Bro, it's gross. And then Noodle has joined us. First time. She's over there. uh, Second time. Second Second time. She's on the floor down there. And then, of course, uh, Huggy's better half is in the corner, just kind of keeping everything in perspective. Indeed, it's and yes. She, she has a firearm under that coat, and she's ready to use it. And there's a hammer right next to her. There's a hammer right next to her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's like kind of leaning already towards her. So. <laughs> <We're screwed. laughs> yeah. yeah, you're not. You're, y'all are fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 you're kind of screwed. Yeah, I'm kind of screwed. You should uh, call up Kenny Loggins. Could you are in the danger zone? Of course, the uh, uh, talking about what happened in France. With uh, Charlie Hebdo, and uh, uh, afterwards, the French police SWAT team uh, was able to uh, hunt down the gunmen and take them out one at a time after they actually uh, took hostages. And of course, on one very uh, uh, replayed and played and replayed video, it shows the uh, one of the gunmen just getting peppered. Oh, yeah. He's like running By the French SWAT team. Of course, we're all over here like, yeah, yeah. America. Here's my question. What if that did happen in America? We have a minority getting shot by white policemen. Um, Boston. Boston. Uh, I mean, I'm, just, I'm asking. I'm asking. It's Because uh, over here, the, 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 the political correctness is a little bit... Deeper than than places, other places. See, but I think that at the same time, like, you, like he, there was a hostage situation. So that guy, like, was like, if anybody is doing a hostage, yeah, situation, but that guy could have been starting his own clothing line tomorrow if they just would have kept him alive. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, he, had a, he had a burgeoning rap career. I mean, I doubt it. If you've got hostages, <laughs> I'm just, stuff like I'm just that. Saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you have, like, uh, if you were taking hostages, threatening other people's lives, pretty much yeah. anything is out the window. The only the the, the problem with the, pro- the but if that would have happened in the United States, I think if in that same circumstances would have yeah. been a problem. Would have been a problem. Absolutely not. You don't think you don't think the liberal left have been crying about uh, excessive force? And, no, I mean, if anything, I don't think it, that would even be brought up. I mean, that's I think that's almost necessary for us if you have. Guns and you're in there with flak jackets and you're all camoed out and you're taking hostages, innocent women and children. Like basically, you put all your cards on the table and they'll just like throw down the death card. So yeah, it's like the same thing as like if you shoot a cop and you kill a cop, it doesn't matter who you are. Like you're, like, you're either going to get shot yeah. or the cops are going to beat the crap out of you whenever they get their hands on you. There's only like because you've already you've you've overstepped that bound. You've well, already crossed that line. Here, here's the whole deal. You have to figure. Um, Europe is more socialized than we are. They probably have a larger deal of uh, more political correctness. And uh, for it to happen here in the U.S., it would probably happen a lot easier for us to go and take down these guys. It's not more of a matter of political, you know, correctness. It's just a matter of, yeah, these guys killed our people, and we're going to go after them. You know, you figure Europe is going to be like, well, you know... They have their own beliefs, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm not going to sit there and argue about semantics about it. Heather, what do you think? Yeah. I don't do this politics shit. (laughs) 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 She's out of it. It's also, it's one of those, when you you look at the circumstances of the... End scene. (laughs) Of, of, of like, where there's been the political, like, or the public outcry about, like, people of color being killed by police. It's always, like, super... Like, like hacky when the fact of like the, how it comes out, like oh he was yeah. at Walmart and he grabbed a pellet rifle off of the counter, oh off yeah, of the shelf that he was walking around with it, looking at like RC adapters and the co- somebody called him was like it's a gun and instead of talking to him 
he got shot in the aisle. Or you yeah, know, like, and so like I think the circumstances are different. And I, and I blame the anti gunner who called the police on that one. Yeah, who called active shooter or to somebody who was like felt threatened in that situation. Because you know, the, I mean, uh, you'd be naive as as a man of color. I'm not naive to the fact that sometimes I can walk into in Arby's in Jasper, Texas, and not everybody wants me in that Arby's. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> stupid. So when I'm in that Arby's, I'm not causing a ruckus. And like, I mean, that sounds like ridiculous. But sometimes you have to curtail what you do because sometimes like, you well, don't know who's watching. I'm, I'm the same thing as, the as a white guy. I'm not going to walk into uh, an area of the town predominantly African American to do the same yeah, thing. Exactly. It's yeah. like, or in uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance, whenever he walks yeah. around and he has that sign. And he just make and he's like, oh yeah, you gotta go out in Harlem and walk around with a sign that says the N word on it. And Bruce Willis is hanging out, and everybody's just like, what are you doing? And he's like, this yeah. is the worst idea ever because nobody yeah. wants to put themselves in those situations. Exactly. Like I'm not hanging walk out into a synagogue with a Nazi uniform. I'm on. not walking yeah. through. A Chances Nazi are, I'm probably not going to walk out of there. If I walked through, like the name, like I live in Travis Heights. But if I walked through certain neighborhoods of Westlake at two in the morning, like I do in Travis Heights. Somebody would call the cops on me. Yeah. I'm not stupid. Like, I'm totally aware of that. So, if, whenever it comes to stuff like what's going on in France, like, that was 100% necessary. And the fact that, like, that dude had to at least be taken out or apprehended at all means necessary. I think that America is so pro all means necessary when it comes to people that hurt other Americans. It would have, yeah. like, they shut down Boston. And, and, most, and most of Boston was okay with the fact that they were not allowed to leave their house and go search house by house because they want yeah. these people fine. Now, like, Americans have a lot of sympathy for other Americans, just like the French have sympathy for the French. You know, like, so, yeah. it's one of those where they try to take care of their own. France, having no gun laws, like, not being allowed to carry a gun, is makes it more difficult. Because, yes, that dude who is standing there and is outside the, the news article place and you can't sit there and shoot the guy because he has a CHL and he's allowed to carry. You know? But also, in America, if you don't have a CHL and you bust out a gun whenever something's going on and you shoot somebody, you're also liable to get in trouble because you're not legally allowed to carry that yeah. gun concealed in that place. Like, you know, like... So it's like... The, the laws that we have work, but we need to polish them up, I guess. That's now, what, what, what I have to bring into question is when you go to a lot of places in Europe, when you go and become, hey, I want to become an immigrant of your comp like country, you have to become, you have to go through a class and multiple classes before you can actually become an American, like, you know, part of that citizen. So let's say you decide you want to go to France. You will go to how to become a French citizen, and if you don't pass, you get kicked out. So if you do not fit in, if you do not well, yeah, but become I mean, like, France, France, now France how does is that also work? Like the most pretentious place in the world. Like or, France is more sold on France yeah. than anybody else. But even then, you can go to Germany. If you do not fit in well in the Germany, you will not be allowed to move into that country. You My will nephew be, got kicked out of Australia. Yeah. Can really? go back? Yeah, you, 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 you yeah, crazy. You can go to the UK, Norway, no, Sweden. Is that <laughs> Garrett? Is that Garrett? <laughs> yeah, you have to go to your. It's of, simply new. Let, let's say I decide, hey, I'm going to go live in Norway. I have to go to your school to be able to live in Norway. And if I don't pass, I get kicked out. Now, the whole question is, it's uh, are they forcing people to become either part of their culture or are they allowing new cultures in? And where does that you know kind of draw on? Because, they, hey, anytime we let anybody into the U.S., we say, go ahead, you can get a visa. You can live here, do what you want. You have to pass, you know, a not super hard test. Hey, yeah, you have to know our, you know, our presidents, 50 states, some other facts. Not that hard. We don't force our people to go to a year of college just about, even though they came from anywhere in the whole world to become a citizen of the U.S. Because they don't want us there. Yeah, exactly. you, have, you have to understand, That's like, France, like, like, now, like, like, how France does like, France absolutely despises almost everything that is American culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they, there's more. There's Not exactly, but it when I traveled around like France, sports. when I traveled around France, when I was stationed over there, uh, I went to all the battlefields for World War One and went to Verdun, yeah. and Normandy, and all that stuff. Uh, I would say that a majority of the French people outside, uh, especially in Normandy, if you're an American, especially if you're an American service member in Normandy, you can do no wrong. I mean, they are the most respectful people I've ever met. The wine country, uh, Oslace, uh over in those areas, 
uh, you get you get get over uh, on the coast. Beautiful people. Just stay out of Paris. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say like because Parisians hate our ass. Well, yeah, it's like, well, I mean, I think <laughs> they don't like us at all. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like it's like yeah. French culture is the number one culture to everyone in France, and that's it. And they don't, yeah. they, and they don't waver on that. They I mean, they can't win a world war. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. I <laughs> Tony Parker. Tony, Tony Parker. Is, my uh, my hey, mother. She was a first generation. The all came in off the bench, but hey, we uh, need yeah. help, right? <laughs> but uh, this, this is where I bring forth the question. You know, my, I, I figure my mother. She was a first generation American, <laughs> right? Uh, my grandmother on my uh, don't even side. get me started on that Vichy defense. <laughs> <laughs> she she was a first first generation American. We came here. You know, those are such good. Those are really good. We uh, figured our stuff out. You know, we. We do what we do. Davis is trying to say something. Yeah. Just, yeah. Hey, are you listening to some of the football references in the world? Tour? That, that's a bad part. I'm like, thinking, I'm like, I can deal with this. Or I can do my own thing. I guess yeah. a, I guess a, yeah. I guess that quarterback Guterin and yeah. his vaunted <laughs> offense. <laughs> well, his, his Blitzkrieg <laughs> offense. Yeah. We want to think if we've had uh, slightly the was Vichy, a bit more the Vichy defense went into yes. went into. <laughs> they went into all the time. Protect mode. <laughs> Max protect. Max, Max protect. protect. Yeah. So the DNs go out to the flats. <laughs> Don't act like you're not impressed, y'all. It was bad. He had a little bit of help off the bench in North Africa, but not much. Yeah, not much. Not much. Mostly height. And <laughs> and <athleticism>. <laughs> <laughs> they they oh eventually started God. death. <laughs> I mean, I think there's whenever whenever anything like that happens anywhere, it's it's not it's not okay. And I think that not having any guns is not the answer. But also having like letting everybody get guns isn't the answer. It's finding that healthy medium. I think we're pretty close to it. We just need to like polish stuff. Well, I say, how can we let? I know, you're just shaking your head. I'm constitutional not, carry. I'm not, I'm not trying to take your guns. You can keep them all. We, we let, let all, you keep we them. let all these people me, into our country every day. <laughs> they, He's over here talking yeah. about immigration. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Well, the problem I mean, is that's, that's kind of how this show goes, man. You know, we just kind of. Technically, I'm an immigrant, and I follow all the laws. <laughs> I was born what abroad. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're going to take a short break, come back, close out this hour, and then it'll be the witching hour, because Heather's over here tired. And she says, it's my turn. I it's that. my turn. I'm Mike Allen. This is the Armed Radio Global Network, and you are on the air. Night's Talk with Jay Rocks. 10 p.m. Eastern Thursdays is now on Ustream TV. Spreaker for replays and live. On Live 365 exclusively on Armed Radio Global. Is your wife wicked hot? Or is she just cold? Do you just want to take a hot shower? Call Savino Mechanical for all your heating, hot water, and cooling needs. Savino Mechanical has been servicing Greater Boston and Southern New Hampshire for over a quarter century. Quality 24-hour service. Reasonable rates. Satisfaction guaranteed. Licensed and insured. And remember, at Savino Mechanical, we are not comfortable until you are. Call Savino Mechanical today at 1-855-624-4280. That's 1-855-624-4280. Savino Mechanical. Route 106 Motors is the home of fine pre-owned vehicles. Experience a no-pressure sale with a family-friendly atmosphere. Route 106 Motors has been practicing the same simple philosophy of low prices for over a decade, and it has brought us great success. Recently, while other dealers are closing their doors, Route 106 Motors is expanding. We are a wholesale dealer, and we own the property and pay cash for all the vehicles. This allows us to sell to the consumer for a lot less than the average dealership. We are a high-volume, small-profit dealer, and we pass the savings on to you. New changes have been made at Route 106 Motors. Stop by and check out our brand-new building. Route 106 Motors, located at 569 West Street. 
Check our website at Route106Motors.com and be sure to like us on Facebook to find out about all the latest deals and savings opportunities. Route106Motors.com Attention world of tank gamers. Armed and its affiliated divisions are recruiting entire clans and tankers. Armed, the largest and most progressive gaming community on the world of tanks.